welcome to appbase.io. I am Joy and today I'm going to tell you how you can make your search UX stand out for your store using our no code setup. This is a great tool for e-commerce businesses because it lets your business team visually edit the look and feel of your store and make changes live in real time. You can also preview changes that you make in both web and mobile resolutions so that you can create the best look possible for your store. So let's get started. In the UI integrations tab, you will have to select the other option for this store. Next, in the store info, you can select the default currency for your store. Heading to the layout and design tab, first thing we select here is the search layout. Now Classic has clearly defined boxes for filters and facets, making it a great fit for multi-category stores and minimal, which has a streamlined view and is preferred by fashion and jewelry retailers. Next, heading on to the style presets tab. Here you can set the colors for filters, product names and descriptions that appear on the search results page. You can also select the preferred font family here. Next, heading on to the custom CSS page, you can copy and paste desired properties and edit them. For example, let me, let me show you how our store looks currently. So here you can see that the products are not separated by cards. If I simply copy and paste this, however, and then check out the store preview again, the changes are reflected in real time. Once you are done with this, let's head to search settings. If you click on the uh, configure search settings button, you will be taken to our search relevancy tab. And here you can add weights, enable typo tolerances, synonyms, set query rules, and do much more. And once you're satisfied with how your search relevancy is set up, we can head back to UI integrations. Next, looking at the filters tab, you can personalize which filters you want to appear on your store. For example, if I show my filters tab again, I currently have three filters showing. And with this, I can now have four product type collections, color and price. You can also add customized filters very easily by simply clicking on this button, adding the desired field you want and giving it a name and clicking save. After that, looking at the results tab, businesses will be able to exercise even more control over their search results. This includes having popular suggestions enabled, infinite scroll or pagination options, data that appears along with the search results, etc. Finally, in the custom messages, you can edit the text that appears at various points of the search journey. Once you're all set here, it's time to export the code. Here, uh, you have to enter your API credentials. So you can get your API credentials by simply following this link and copying your code. Once you've pasted that, I recommend you select hackable mode and toggle this option so that when the search is used, you get taken directly to the search results view. Once that's done, let's hit continue and click this link to open the code sandbox. You will have to copy this to the header text and replace this text with this snippet. Once the page is loaded up, we head on to index HTML, copy this, and replace this and we will now wait for this index to save now that the index has been saved let's just reload so now the storefront preview is available on uh, code sandbox io as well and you can have a full screen version of this as well
So now let's just make a quick search to make sure everything is working fine. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.